Hey guys, and welcome to episode number 24 of my Road to One Bill series. Uh, today we're going to focus mainly on questing in the Mortania area. Uh, so items like the Holy Wrench and the Salve Amulet we're going to try to get. Uh, on top of that, uh, well we just got a magic level. But uh, the winner of the giveaway from the Bond is going to be announced at the end of the video. So stick around, that'll be at the end. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to buy another 4,000 Astral Runes. Uh, we're going to continue stringing the jewelry. Uh, just so AFK and awesome, I'm really enjoying doing it. It's pretty expensive, uh, but you can find some pseudo break-even points sometimes. Most of the time you're losing money, but uh, right now I'm not losing too much. Only if probably 500k an hour or something like that. There we go. We're just about to hit another magic level. Uh, still getting about 130k an hour doing this, which is awesome. Uh, I think we're going to cut it for now because the prices have gone down a bit. We're down to about two or 300 GP loss on each amulet, which is not that great anymore. Uh, but still, 87 per drop, 130k magic experience per hour, plus uh, well, a little bit of crafting is always nice. Only probably 10k crafting experience an hour, so not that great. But um, we should be hitting... Uh, do we get the perfect amount of amulets? I think we... Yeah, we did. Crazy. Oh, hope so. Okay, cool. At 82 magic, that is now going to let us use magic and view, which is actually a pretty useful spell. Alright, so uh, we've been 59 agility for quite a while. And I thought, well, we might as well get 60 so we can go do the Sears course later on. Uh, I actually kind of like the Wilderness course, to be honest. Uh, no problem with that. XP rates are so much better than that stupid Canifus course. But anyway, we're going to hit 60 agility, and then we can do the Sears course when we, well, kind of when we want. Alright, this should be the last lap, and that'll be uh, 60 agility. Our end goal is going to be 70 or 71, because that is, does an unlock quite a few of the shortcuts we want. Uh, mainly the Zorro shortcut. And uh, the Barrows uh, Diaries also have a 70 requirement. So it looks like my bank value is 48 mil right now. Uh, I may have mentioned that OS Buddy, uh, his features are free this weekend. Uh, so 40, 50 mil in total, about 28 mil in equipment. And uh, well, well, 3.1 in Bibles essentially. Uh, a bunch of other random 165k in quest items, that's interesting. And 2 mil there, and what is for 2 mil here? I go with the, I have two cannons. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, I thought I would go ahead and look at my entire bank. Looks like about 50 mil right now. Okay, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I really do not like the Sears course. Not sure what it is about it, but I feel like you fall a lot. I feel like it takes a while to get around. You gotta do a lot of running between the course. You gotta change your camera angle a lot. I'm not enjoying this too much so far. But we're gonna go ahead and at least grind at least one agility level. Uh, so we got 61. We're going to come back to this, of course, but man, I got to do this in steps. All right, so now we're going to start uh, some quests. Now, the first one we're going to do is Ghost Ahoy. Uh, now, for one, this does have the Ecto file, which is extremely useful for teleporting to Mortania. Uh, but mainly, we're going down the tree of the Mortania quest line, because eventually we do want to get the Barrow's Hard Diaries done for extra runes uh, that we'll get from Barrow's when we do it. Sorry, did I say Barrow's Hard Diary? Mortania Hard Diary. Uh, so we can get the Legs 3. And this is kind of just one quest I need to get out of the way. Uh, so we can do rum deal and do all the rest. All right, we were fighting a giant lobster with a stick, uh, but I guess we'll uh, use a uh, well, regular sword on it. Uh, but I don't think you ever see a lobster ever again in the game. So I thought it was worth noting, even though I'm about to kind of roast it. Heh. Hey, there's a guy called Robin in the game, and he's a uh, kind of gambling addict that kind of whores out his name signatures. Apparently if he loses, but you know, whatever, at least I'm a character in the game. I made it in somehow. Oh my god, get back here. You can't run in these stupid ghost costumes. <laughs> I'm just trying to assault people at a walking speed, so it's kind of creepy, to be fair, but also really annoying. Okay, I got all the signatures. I have finally uh, convinced the town uh, of something. I don't know, I was skipping the quest. Anyway, we got it done. 2400 prayer experience, mainly the ectophile and a prerequisite for another quest. So that's kind of nice to get that done. Uh, the teleport is actually really useful, and it even refills it for you. Nice. Okay, that is my best solar time so far. So new personal best is 2 minutes and 17 seconds. I uh, didn't do anything in special, I don't believe, except I am now praying uh, Eagle Eye, trying to get that switch into, and also a 200k drop, so that's kind of nice too. Okay, so I believe for the rum deal quest, I actually need to have 50 fishing. Uh, so I got mine to 40. Uh, we're just doing the trout fishing, of course. Uh, best easy experience in the game. Uh, so we're going to go to 45 and then we can eat an Admiral Pie, uh, which gives you plus 5 boost, which is good because I really don't want to get 50 fishing. Alright, there we go, 45 fishing, only took about an hour, 
uh, Stillborn is fucked though. So yeah, now we can boost, uh, plus 5 boost will get us to 50, which is what we need for the quest. Okay, so we're just about to start Rum Deal. Uh, now, again, this is a prerequisite quest, uh, but the main reason we're doing this is for uh, the Holy Ranch's actual reward to get, which is kind of good. Uh, whenever you drink a Prayer Potion dose, uh, it restores more than a regular would uh, if you had the Holy Ranch in your inventory. Now, I'm not sure exactly where it's going to come in handy, uh, but we'll do a little research after we get it and see if it's going to be useful anywhere. Also, we got this uh, uh, great cutscene going on with some zombies. Uh, we're looking for some rum, and uh, we're going to give it to them. All right, we got our distiller tweaking out. I'm not sure what I did. Uh, I'm not sure if that is intended or not, but I guess we'll go and see if we can fix it. Groovy. <laughs> Who says groovy anymore? But uh, anyway, we got the holy wrench. I uh, got our regular wrench blessed, of course. Uh, so yeah, we'll go and complete the quest. All right, that should be the quest done. Uh, so on top of getting the holy wrench, like I was talking about earlier, we get to keep it. Uh, we're going to get, uh, I think we get 7,000 uh, prayer experience, 7,000 fishing experience, and 7,000 farming. Uh, two quest points as well. Uh, we are always in it for the quest points because we do want to get the Barrow's Glove eventually. And uh, we got both a prayer level and a fishing level. That's not bad. Uh, so one of the prerequisites for Cabin Fever, the next quest I want to get out of the way, is 50 smithing. And while I could boost it uh, with a spicy stew, I also have not unlocked a spicy stew yet. So I'd have to do... Uh, some more quests, and I thought I might as well just get 50 smithing uh, More total level gonna come in handy later. So we're just gonna do it. All right. There's 33 smithing uh, We're just making some uh, well, Iron two-handers, but mainly we're gonna do iron plates until 50 uh, After this we could do mother load mine at about well, I guess 40 uh, But again another quest I gotta do so I will do that later But for now we're just gonna make iron plate bodies. All right. We just hit 40 smithing uh, we have another 548 iron bars, but we are definitely going to run out, <laughs> so we'll definitely need to buy more before we get to 50. Okay, so we're just about to hit 45 smithing. Uh, I did think about switching to like steel bars at some point, but I don't think there's any case where I'd be losing less money. It'd just be costing more, and I would get better experience, but I don't know if it's worth it. Anyway, there's 45 smithing. Alright, we're just about to finish up all the bars, and finally we'll be 50 smithing. Kind of done with this. It's really expensive. Uh, for what it is. You wouldn't think you'd lose much on iron bars, but you kind of do. Anyway, there's 50 smithing. We can now start the cabin fever quest. Okay, so we're just about to start uh, the cabin fever quest. Uh, now, this is mainly for experience quest points, and of course, it is a prerequisite for some other quests, but uh, it does also unlock one thing that might be useful. I'm not sure about this yet. I'm going to do a little testing before I go in depth about it, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's get the quest started. Well, that was a little bit Rude. You just cannoned a hole in our ship. Oh man. Can't get this stupid fuse to light. This is the most awkward thing ever. I'm just literally fighting off three people. Just. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, guys, can you help me light the fuse? I'm just trying to blow up your ship any second now. And. Okay, we, we gotta do the end of it, I guess. Is that good? No? Did we light it? We failed. Oh, well, this is really awkward. I just didn't even light it correctly. Come on. It's a pirate attacking me. God's sake. Fuse refuses to light. You light the fuse. There we go. Alright, there we go. We blew up the ship amongst like 10 people. Okay, there we go. The quest is completed. Uh, like I said, 7k smithing, crafting, and agility experience. That is good experience to have. That being said, I did not get a level, unfortunately. We did also unlock uh, Most Harmless, or whatever you want to call it, uh, which may come in handy later. Mainly, experience and quest points, and it was a sick quest to do. Okay, and last up for the day, I believe we're going to do uh, the Haunted Mine quest, uh, which doesn't look like it'll take that long, but I've heard it's really annoying. Uh, but having the salve amulets will come in handy for later, although I was going to use them for barrows, but I'm usually maging now. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll, f well, I mean, we'll find a use for it later. All right, so this is a really annoying part of the quest. Uh, you have to make sure all the mine tracks are facing the correct direction. Uh, luckily, there is an answer key here, but still, I have to run back and forth, fix them all up, uh, which is going to take a little while. Okay, I think I got them right, and uh, we'll see if my minecart actually makes it, and it looks like we're good. Ooh, I'm glad. <laughs> Alright, so we're just on to the bo- <laughs> uh, We're just on to the boss fight. Wow, that, that was actually pretty funny. Key just kind of nudged away. Uh, apparently, it's really annoying. You got like this claw attacking you. And uh, we got full mage gear, so I think we should be fine. But this person just disappears and pops back up for just a second. Uh, well, we got two hits on there. 
Uh, only has 100 HP, so I don't think this is going to be a huge issue. I could see if you're a lower level, this could be extremely annoying because there's random stuff damaging you. The minecarts can do damage to you. This stupid claw machine is trying to pick me up. And uh, the, the bitch just keeps moving around and you only get to attack her once. If you're using melee, I would, oh god, this would be awful. And they actually do pretty consistent damage, but I think we'll be fine. Alright, there we go. The quest is complete. Actually, 22,000 strength experience is actually really good. Did not even realize that going into this. Uh, we're also going to grab a bunch of crystals uh, so we can make a bunch of salve amulets. And uh, yeah, glad to get that out of the way. An extra couple quest points as well. Alright, so now we're just adding the balls of wool to the salve amulet. Looks good and uh, should be enough for a long time. Again, if you guys have any ideas what these would be useful for, I thought barrows, but I am maging. Uh, please, if you leave a comment below of anything that might be useful to use a salve amulet on. Um, can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I'm sure it's useful. Alright guys, so we're going to do the giveaway for the last episode, and I really appreciate everyone who left a comment on the last video. Like, let's see how many load. Oh yeah, tons. Is that really satisfying watching them all load up like this? But anyway, appreciate it a lot, guys. So we're going to pick a winner for the Bond uh, giveaway from the last episode. The winner is going to be... Dean My All Brown. Bond is good. Bond is life. I need a Bond. Yes, Bond, I do. Anyway, man... Congratulations, I'll get in contact you, uh, with you through the uh, messenger and uh, we can figure out a way to get that bond. Alright, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, we'll have a quick look at my account here. Uh, notably, we've just finished uh, four quests in the Mortania area. Uh, we got two magic levels and uh, what we got? We got fishing levels, we got some smithing levels. Uh, we actually got uh, quite a few total levels up. Now um, our lowest stat is, uh, well, actually construction. But just construction, runecrafting, and thieving are our lowest. Everything else is 40 or 50. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.